You watched the season premiere of Game of Thrones with a broken foot. It gets, it, it gets worse than that, yeah. This story is shambolic from top to end from. <laughs> Yes, people, <laughs> welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. Uh, the first one that I believe that we are bringing to you with, with some visuals on it. Yeah, we recorded some visuals before, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Yeah, we're going to do the introductions. So you got Kyojin. Um, let me introduce all of you guys, yeah? So we've got myself, Kyojin. we got the cross-eyed bitch, as you can see, sitting right there. And we've got uh, Jihadi Jack in his room. <laughs> no, no. Lando, sure. why do you look like you yeah, actually in a terrorist video? So I'm reading it up from the script. Bro. Um, that's the plot twist. I think I already am in a terrorist video still. After his Doom call, man's making them calls there, innit? <laughs> this Christmas shit, man's cool. He's looking, looking like four lines, you know. It was us. It was we from the mosque. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. We've got AB and Lando. <sighs> Clearly, someone's tired. tired I ate good, fam. So I got. I, I just take a little nap. I'm, I'm fresh from a nap, fam. A little Christmas dinner. No, yeah, <laughs> no Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Din, din. What are you, what are you saying, though? Obviously, the the setting is a little bit different today. Um, we usually record from the studio, but you know, circumstances change. With where Boris Johnson just. The worst thing is, yeah, like literally, the, I, I, knew, I remember like before the day of the recording, I wasn't coming, but it was literally the day before the recording where Boris Johnson just came on TV and he's like, yeah, you're all going into tier four tonight. Yeah. yeah. Did, did he even say tonight, actually? Was it like straight away? Or was it like, no, he like, said it was tonight. So he'd done it on the Saturday and we went into lockdown at midnight. And we, fucking, record, we record on the Sunday. Fucking Boris Johnson. <laughs> Can't believe he, he just dropped it out of nowhere, man. How you guys? How you guys feeling about about another? I guess it's kind of like another lockdown right at the moment, isn't it? I'm pissed, bro. I can't like Christmas is the only time when everyone's off, like everyone can get together. Mm. But the nonsense fucked it up, fam. What about you, landlord? How you feeling about it? Yeah, same to be honest, man. Like if you look at previous years, it's the Christmas holidays is a good time where everyone is about, everyone is free from work, right? Time to meet up with each other. Obviously, Tiff was the opposite. Where you can't meet up with anyone. Like, mm. clearly with this Zoom call, where you should be together, but it's online thing. Isn't it? Well, so what you're saying, if if we were at the studio, two two, Turkey, couple secret yeah. Santa presents. No, I know you're a turkey for this chicken at the yard today, fam. Yeah, I don't even read. I've been now. seeing a lot of t- uh, a lot of turkey slander recently. You know. No, do you know what is it? If you if your turkey's dry, for you, just don't have to cook it, fam. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You know That's what I'm saying. saying. But people, no, but people are coming up with like turkey is the, the driest meat, blah blah blah. But it's like, it's a dead meat though. It's not it's not a good meat. But you gotta work with it, man. You gotta work with it. No, it's, it's not good, fam. Gee, chicken is so succulent, it's so soft. Turkey is just dead, fam. No. If turkey if turkey was ends, would be burnt up. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. Like, how can you prefer turkey to chicken though? Like, what yeah. what's good about turkey? That's that's not good about chicken. Yeah, well. Do you know what I think it is though? It's because like you know, chicken is something you have all the time in it. Like chicken yeah, is like exactly a regular thing, but yeah. turkey is like you know you have it now and then, and that's why yeah. even though it's not better than chicken, like on a on a festive day or like a special day, I would probably prefer turkey because you know I want something to be different about that day. Do you know what I mean? Not that I celebrate it, Christmas, but, you know. Is that when Kyojin has a uh, pork for uh, Easter? Yeah, I have rabbit for Easter. I keep it seasonal yep. in it, so like. Easter's the rabbit holiday, and it's so like eat rabbits. And what pork for Hanukkah? No, pork's every other day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know rabbits. Yeah, I'm actually scared of rabbits. You know why? First of all, they're wham, yeah, and they move hella fast you did, as well. Did, did they say rabbits are wham? They are wham. Have you seen how big they are, fam? Well, one boot to a rabbit, fam. He's getting <laughs> no, I, I saw, I saw one on, like this girl made this TikTok video, yeah, and like it was sitting on her lap in it. I swear to God. The rabbit was as big as the top half of her body. That's how long it was. Yeah, that doesn't mean that's one, you fool. Look how, that's big. Bro, it's just long, fam. Gee, think of it, he's got, yeah, he's, I, on I, high, I, he's on his height, he's, he's, he's on his legs. No, fuck that, look at my, my fish tank. Are they still alive? No, look, you can see, you can see Zeus. Good, yeah? <laughs> oh, no, he's sleeping. Is he last man standing? Last man standing, fam. Last soldier, fam. 
So I put up Zeus for a reason. Yeah, survival of the fittest, fam. They ain't gonna survive alive. Like, not built for it. You know what I'm saying? I killed off all his fish, you know. They killed off themselves. You know, one yeah, when I was cleaning, one jumped out of the thing. <laughs> what? I swear, gee, as God as my witness, one jumped out of the thing, bro. I left it in the in the, in the bucket because I leave it in the bucket when I go to clean, yeah. Yeah. Bruv, I see it. I see it on the floor, fam. That's your fault, bro. How is that my fault? I left it in the bucket. I always keep leaving a bucket. Gee. This thing jumped. He jumped out of the thing, fam. You made the you made the water too high. That's why. No, I didn't cover it, fam. Yeah, well, you didn't cover it. You should put like a plastic bag in. Wrap it up. No, I just put like cardboard on top of it, innit? Nah, man, you fucked up. You fucked up. How many? No, how many? How many fish did you have? At the beginning, did you have one bad. left. How many have you had? Five. So four of them killed themselves. I don't know. I said five killed themselves. Five. Oh, five. Like there's, there were six of them and only one left. Was it six or five? No, I think there was five. I can't remember. There was like five. But, uh, four dead. But if you're struggling with the mass, fam. I honestly can't five, remember. Five and two. Because they're all the same in it. They're all like the same thing. Breed. Yeah. And oh, there was shit. Like there's shit fish. You took the pescatarian <laughs> business too too seriously, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, fucking yeah, man. Look, new lockdown. I actually got my fish to the first lockdown, yo. In the very first one. First lockdown. Well, the first lockdown, I like landed. Yeah, yeah, it was. You're yeah, trying to you're trying lockdown. to battle that loneliness, yeah. Give you a little. Bro, you know what is it? I just want yeah, fam. I saw I done bare shit in lockdown, man. That's, ca- that's kind of what lockdown. we're here. Kind of what we're here to talk about today, isn't it? Like, because well, today is Christmas Day. The day that this will come out will be like very, very close to the New Year's Day. So kind of like we can go for a review of like how the year went. And I feel like for most people it's pretty, pretty shit. But I guess if we can see if we can find any like highs or lows or lessons learned, all those sorts of things. Uh, cool. It's true. It's true. Obviously, the, the, the main thing that happened this year was, you know, it's so weird saying like, because obviously we, at the beginning we used to call it uh, coronavirus, isn't it? And then it mm. like people start calling it COVID nineteen, but it's crazy yeah. to call it COVID nineteen because we're almost in bloody twenty twenty one, fam. Yeah, and obviously there's a new mutation. I swear, <laughs> COVID twenty, fam. I think I got that new. God new damn, was that a cough? Yeah, you did. Uh, so another reason why you know, like tears don't mean anything to us, but right now they have to mean something to us. Now I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. We take the tears very, very seriously. He means but, tears as a T E A R S. Not the T one. Can't, can't spell, man. Get out of here. That's how do you spell tears? Which tears? I just spelled the tears as in crying tears. T E A R S. That's what I just said. You said T E E A R S. I said T. I look at the foot anyway. Anyway, if I spell it wrong, let's get edited out. Anyway, I was gonna say yeah. Um, I think like, did you guys get your test on, by the way? I done my test. I'm waiting Wait, for so the results. Waiting for results. Yeah, so um, there's one weekend where I went to work. Like my, the weekend was my birthday. I went to work, went to the studio to obviously we were like recording as well. Then next day I get home, I'm fine. The day after that, I'm fine. And then it's just like, do you know what happens? Is like my sleeping pattern is really shit. So around like every two months, my, my body kind of breaks down anyway. It's like, it kind of reminds me to go to sleep in it. Like you're mm. tired, go to sleep. Otherwise you're going to get a massive headache and you're going to get like really fatigued in it. So I'm like, calm. That's that's all that is. I'm just tired in it, so I need to sleep. But then I didn't. I, I don't know. Like for a couple of days, I was having like a hard time sleeping. Um, I just couldn't get myself to sleep in it. So I go. Did you bash? <laughs> probably why I didn't. Probably why I'm having a hard time sleeping, man. That shit Shut up, man. takes me the fuck out. <laughs> Shut mm. up, man. Shut up. It's Christmas Day. Keep it family friendly, bro. Anyway. Man, fuck Christmas. <laughs> so anyway, apologies. Uh, so then, yeah, like I'm like cool. It's just sleep deprivation. Then the next, like after like two days, I get like a sore throat and I start to get a cough. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. Um, but the other thing is that like, every year, like whenever it gets cold, I get a throat infection anyway. Like I don't know if, if you remember, like I have a last year or the year before. Actually, it happened like I two thought, years in a row. I but, just like, thought you because you're a uckers. <laughs> Shut up. <man. laughs> Do you know what happens though? Like basically, I, whenever I get a throat infection, I cough so much, yeah. That like I remember last time I coughed so much that I, I burst like a vessel in my throat in it. Oh yeah, so you're bleeding. Blood, yeah. And so every night I would wake up like suffocating on, blo- on my own blood. I'd just be like, <laughs> and I have to like go to the kitchen and like, cough out, fuck? go to the bathroom, sorry, in the middle of the night and like cough out my own blood. And then, like I was like, okay, so it may be this happening again. 
But obviously, right now we're in Corona times. So I don't want to take it. Don't take the risk in it. So I ordered the um the test, the test kit. Bro, the t- did you take the test? Yeah, I took the test. Fam. It's it's weird, isn't it? Like, bro, it's, bro. Not like fam, it's equivalent to biting cotton, fam. Let me tell you something, yeah. Well, it's a good thing that I'm not into men, because the one that you have to put down your throat, bro. Well, I I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. Why are you, why are you lying? I know you've done it like three times. No, I swear down, bro. I was You just speak for 10 seconds. You've done it three times, <laughs> like. No, no. I was like... I put like, no, down. I didn't do it properly. I didn't do it properly. I put it down my throat and I just kept going... Whoa, whoa, and like, I had to like keep taking it out in it. And also, don't you know how you meant to... Don't ever you know you had, that noise again. <laughs> you know how you're meant to like swipe your... Swab your like tonsils, in it. Yeah. Every time I tried to do it, like my tongue would come up and like block the swab... From doing it, like it's just natural reflex on it. So then the nose one, yeah, it's kind of disgusting as well. You have to put you have to put up your nose straight away after that. Yeah. The nose one, it says on the box like, oh, did he sneeze? No, no, no. I like I blew my nose first and everything first. Uh, but the yeah. nose one says like, oh, um, if you feel any strong resistance or pain, like stop there and just leave it there for ten seconds in it. Yeah. So I, I'm putting it up and I'm thinking, okay, it feels I can feel like a weird feeling, yeah. But then I was thinking to myself, is this strong enough? So I'm like, no, nah, fuck it, let's go further in it. Then I'm like, is this still strong enough? I feel like I can go further. It became like a thing of pride where I was like, you know what, I can go further, I can go further. So I kept just going further. And I was thinking to myself, man, touch his brain, fam. Well, I feel, I feel like I could feel it like in the back of my eye, fam. Oh, uh, man. What, <laughs> what I was watering, it was, like, it was like bulging just a little bit. And then it's, and I wanted to be sure in it. So just instead of keeping it there for like 10 seconds, I kept it there for like 25 seconds. <laughs> But yeah, then I sent it off and it came back positive. I got a text. I woke up to a text saying, yeah, you got a positive. You woke up to the text saying it's positive? Yeah, because I wake up around like 11 o'clock. As in, your te- your results came the next day? No, no, the te- results came because I had to send it back. It came after like two or three days. Okay, because I ain't yeah. got my yet. No, no, no. If you send it off, it comes in like two or three days. I wanted to do a drive through one, but they didn't have any that day. But yeah, Fuck it out. How are you feeling though? Um... At first, I was just like, obviously, fatigue. My knees were feeling weak. Now it's just like coughing. That's you it. Hold, your knees were feeling weak. Yeah. Someone's flicking your bean. <laughs> Shut up, <I'm> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like yesterday, my family group chat, um, they were talking about like the long term effects of lo- long term effects of having coronavirus in it. And not all of them know that I have coronavirus at the moment. It. So they were just like, they were like, yeah, you know, I know somebody who got coronavirus, and they have like now they have memory loss. They're suffering from memory loss. Um, and then one of our friends who had uh, coronavirus as well, they messaged me saying like, "Oh, you know, I had it a while ago, and I'm still having strong, like a hard time breathing and stuff." I'm like, "Damn, like, I hope this shit not." Because you know when like all the footballers who get it, yeah, they come back pretty healthy, right? Yeah. Like they come back and they're just like after their two weeks is done, they're like, "Yeah, I'm fine." But yeah. I'm hoping it'll be okay because for me personally, I don't, I don't feel like my symptoms are that bad. I feel like I'm just coughing. But it feels like a normal cough to me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I imagine, just... imagine you're not even positive. Like you don't have it. It's just you just got a cold or something. No, but then the, why would the test come back positive then? It's probably chatty shit, fam. My isolation, initial isolation ends tomorrow, and the other isolation after that ends on next Wednesday. So probably between then, like if the symptoms clear up, I'm gonna get another test before I come out of isolation. As Bro, in, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? I'm isolation. No, anyway. as in I, I don't leave my room. Like you see this, these four walls. I don't leave this place. I'm literally like under house arrest. Shit, man. So you imagine you all the all house? the like all the Christmas movies are on TV right now. My family are all like in the living room watching Christmas movies, and I'm just here like in Harry know. Potter's. You're you're actually you actually <laughs> stay in Harry up, Potter's like. room, right? Like, underneath you know the, the stairs. You know like. the worst thing is that back there's like the garden in it, and. Like for like every day, I get like twenty minutes yard time. Like it's like it's actually like I'm in pen fam. I get yard time. I got I use the hose to like brush my teeth and shit like that. Like man's I have my teeth volu- from two face. Wow, man's a voluntary banger. Probably shit in a bucket as well. I lie. Uh, nah, I use the bathroom. <laughs> nah, but I'm just trying to try because the the thing is, yeah, you see with like the coronavirus thing. I think the hardest thing about it has, right now has been like mentally dealing with it. Like. I'm worried that every time I go out into the house and stuff, like, oh, I'm, I'm accidentally going to give it to my family and stuff. Uh, like, I've been wearing a mask yeah. and stuff in the house, and I, I told them, like, leave the kitchen if I'm going in there to, like, wash my hands and stuff. Uh, um, yeah. But it's, it's still, like, mentally taxing, like, oh, shit. Like, a wrong move from me, and I can give my, fa- like, vulnerable people in my family, like, a disease that I wouldn't want them to have, obviously. 
Um, so like it is mentally exhausting and also like <coughs> the fact that the first couple of days I just thought it was sleep deprivation and I didn't like if I knew that I was I was not well I would have messaged all the people that I saw before I got ill and said yo like be careful and alhamdulillah everyone's I think everyone's okay but it's still it's still like mentally... it's just me and Lando left no but then it's also like my work my workplace as well isn't it like my work you friends. were at my crib Sam yeah but the day before that I was at work as well so it's that them guys as well that I need to be worried about. So it's just like I feel like I would feel guilty if any of them got ill, or any of their family got ill, or if, if you guys got ill, or any of your family got ill. Do you know what I mean? But alhamdulillah, I think everyone's okay. But do you know what I mean? It's just mentally. I don't think you got that shit. Mentally taxing. You don't think I got coronavirus? I don't think you got it. No, I think I, I think I definitely got it. I think we should start to start the the swap too far too far up. That makes no sense. How does that make any sense, bro? No, I'm joking. I ain't a scientist. The fuck do I know? Anyway, so yeah, that's that's how it is having. You know, you're the only guy that I know that has got. COVID. I'm also the only person that I know. That's that's the other annoying thing. Yeah, is like obviously everyone in the house has been very careful and stuff like that, and I'm also being careful. But I hate that I had to be me. Do you know what I mean like my family? I know like after this year, my family would be like, "You were the one. You were the one yeah. that fucked up." Yeah, I, I, I had to be. You. I mean? It just yeah, had I mean, to be you. <laughs> yeah, man. But, I trust it to be you though I can't lie I actually trust why? it to be you I, I, don't, I don't imagine anyone else getting that problem from you it's probably because I have a weak immune system though, to be honest yeah because you're a cock fam man got sick and like you got sick twice in like two months do you know what else it is yeah I have like a, a vitamin D deficiency in it and obviously Everyone's this year got vitamin D. yeah but mine is like like so when I, when I felt ill a couple of years ago they did like a vitamin D test on me and then they called me the doctor's like do you know what like the do you know what the normal like count is for it how much vitamin D you should have Like how many units or something It was like 75 And 75 you're healthy at 75 Anything below 75 is unhealthy in it And he's like How many do you think you have I was like I don't know Like maybe 60 He's like no You have 19 So like 75 is healthy And anything below 75 is unhealthy And I had 19 He was like bro You have to take these tablets You have to have like broccoli and shit like that Yeah it's, it's Like you like there's no vitamin D in your thing. Obviously, some of it is like to do with genetics. Some of it is like diet in it. Um, but obviously, this year COVID nineteen, we've been, all been in lockdown for like I don't know how many months. There's no time to go out. Well, you don't take more vitamins. No, I don't. I started to though now because obviously it takes you like Yo. vitamin D, zinc, vitamin C, all that stuff. Bro, let me bust you, fam. Yeah, get high strength vegan multivitamins from Holland and Barrett. Yeah, I might have started. Yeah. Baby busting on that still. I'm on my second. Cut, bruv. Trust me, fam. I take that and I take uh, cod liver oil now. I'm going to add some sea moss into my thing. I see how you, know, you know cod liver oil, yeah? Have you, ac- have you accidentally ever bitten into it? No, I just... It's going to sound mad, but I actually just... Yeah, no, that's, that's good, yeah, because if you accidentally bite into cod liver oil, yeah, bro, it tastes disgusting. Bro, I'll do it. You, you, you know what's worse than cod liver oil, fam? <coughs> black seed oil, bro. Have you ever had black seed oil? No. Bro, are you meant? Are you meant to like... swallow that? <laughs> yeah. You, you can mix it with honey, man. Right? I got, I got tablets, and I got a liquid version in it. Bro, it tastes like unleaded petrol, fam. <laughs> How do you know unleaded petrol tastes like? It's, it smells like it tastes. It, it tastes like the smell of okay. petrol. Do you know what I'm saying? You, you know, people like that smell. You know. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I hear that. I like it as well, but it's you don't want you don't want you don't want that going into your mouth, fam. I don't like it. It's, it's weird. That's, I that's, hope you hope you get better soon, fam. Inshallah, man. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm, I'm Take tired some of this. Oil, fam. I'm tired of this lifestyle. I've got like just in my prison cell here. You know what's even mad, yeah? When we started recording, we recorded. I think we recorded two episodes after lockdown, didn't it? The second mm-hmm. lockdown, and the, the last episode, yeah, the recorded session. I was like, yeah, cool. So we got two more. I think we had like, two more recorded sessions for the end till the end of the year, mm-hmm. and we planned out what we we're gonna do. For the yeah. two recordings, isn't it? Yeah, and what day we're gonna release it? <clears throat> but I've, six days later, fam, we were slapped with a fat lockdown. It's crazy. It's like one of the, one of the things we spoke about in that in that podcast episode was the fact that you can have like all these plans, and life just happens. You yeah, know? man, it's alright. I guess man. that's a good segue to I guess one of the initial things I wanted to speak about was like the lessons that you learned in twenty twenty. Yeah. And I think for me personally, that's the biggest lesson. Like you can plan all these things. You can have all these things that you want to do, but life is going to happen either way. And it's not about what happens to your life. It's how you react to it and how you deal with it. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, no, hundred, hundred percent. Uh, for me, it's the same, same as that. And just don't get, don't take things for granted, is it? Like, whether it's like something normal as just like just being able to go out or whatever, and just people in your life, isn't it? I have a, kind of like a question based on that yeah. then, you know. So yeah. you see, like, obviously there's loads of things we took for granted, yeah. Would you say there's some things, yeah, that you look at now because of COVID that you think to yourself, how did we do that beforehand anyway? Like, that was gross beforehand. Why were we doing that anyway? You know what, yeah? See, going to the gym and people not wiping down after, like, they use their equipment. Yeah. For me, that was so... Dis- I remember when I first started gym, yeah, I went with my older cousin, yeah. We used to take towels in it, like a little, like like dirty towels or whatever. Not dirty towels, but like just towels that we won't really use to put on the equipment because you don't want our head to put, touch the equipment. Do you know what I'm saying? So just like because obviously there's bare dirty man in the gym. Do you know what I'm saying? So not wiping down after, or not wiping down the equipment in the gym. For me, that was mad. Like that was actually crazy. I saw I saw someone say that um, going bowling. And everyone like sticking their fingers into the bowling, the bowling ball, like your, everyone's hands going into the bowling ball in the yeah, same yeah. hole and everything. But the thing is, yeah, like in, in a like a, I feel like some of that's a bit extreme. Do you know what I mean? Like there's some things that are going to be like day when you go outside. Like you just need to know how to clean your own hands yeah. and deal with. Because if if everything was overly hygienic, yeah, then your your immune system wouldn't be able to deal with anything. Yeah, true. You know I mean, yeah, it's true. What else? I think I don't know. One I've been thinking about is kind of mad is like sharing shisha pipes. No one says shisha pipes. You do though. You just we you take, just swap the you thing. Mouth, you take off your mouthpiece. You take off the mouthpiece, but still like the, what? Are you putting your whole your mouth over the whole thing, fam? Yeah, but still people can be like I don't know. You know, it's, it's, it's a sticky one. Do you know what I mean? And you're not really going to share with. Well, me personally, I'm not going to shisha with anyone though. But I think it's dirty. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, but now like after after everyone's vaccinated, if it, if anyone coughs right in the vicinity, I'm like, fuck it, I need I need my own pipe. You need your oh yeah. Well, are you gonna get vaccinated? Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, you know like, do I need to get vaccinated now? No, that's the question. Like, am I not am I not not going through my own form of vaccination right now? Yeah, that's the. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't think I get that shit, man. You don't think so? I think I think I will. I will just take my chance with COVID, fam. Um... What do you think, landlord? If you if you are surviving the COVID, fam, I know I can. <laughs> what does that mean, bro? bro you know, really t- like I'm quite healthy, fam. I'm ready to be healthy, guy, fam. I was, about to, I was about to. You, say so, you so are minus hard, you are minus twenty vitamin D units, yeah. <laughs> I know, for a fact, I'm doing all right, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I don't know. Good. Imagine, that, imagine they get the, the muted, the Thanos level COVID mutated fam, one. Man. But I, I bet I have the mutated one, you know. Yeah, no one. You're fucking luck. No, because because of like the timing of it, and also I'm quite young. Like, you're not young. It. You're like sixty. Shut up, man. Shut up. No, I'm joking, no, I'm joking <laughs> but, but I pray you get a book better, man. Because that is crazy, fam. Yeah, inshallah, man. Inshallah. I even got I got like, that box in the back here. It's full of like um like microphone covers and stuff in it. Like even before I I knew I had like Corona, I was like, yo, like other other recordings, we need to start using stuff like microphone covers, headphone covers, just because obviously like. It'll be easier in it, like to stay clean, because we're look, obviously look how close we speak to the mic and everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think if we get more, like more mics, if we get one more mic, we're all right. To be honest, Laska won't even come. I don't think you'll ever come back again, knowing that you. So free, we got free mics, free man. So I think it's all right. But yeah, Lano, what are you, what are you saying? What's your what's the lesson? Oh, that you Lano, do your thing. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a charge in it. I'll be back in two minutes. <coughs> oh no, I don't have COVID now. I'm I'll be immune to it. Just to get over it, but then at the same time, if I get it, then obviously my family has to get it. Mm. So I don't want to go through that. Yeah, no, no. What would you say is the biggest lesson that you learned in 2020? Uh, the main one, obviously, hygiene. Yeah, Just but yeah. You, I remember you. You never used to wash your hands, alive. Uh, no, I still don't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. Um, probably check up on your people, and like, yeah. There's there's a lot of people that I should have checked up on, and then obviously now there's no way for me to like. Do you, do you feel like, up. you know, like going into lockdown and shit, yeah? Did you feel like you found it easier to like hit people up or or harder? Uh, harder, you know. I thought like there's, there's not much means of conversation now that everyone's in the same situation. Like, there's not much going on in the world. There's nothing really happening. And then obviously you can't really link no one, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, you know, I feel like for me personally, I feel like 
there were some people it was easier to like rekindle that that friendship with because mm. we're all just chilling at home you have more time all that stuff <clears throat> what is this guy doing <laughs> he's got some sweets talking about um Lionel was saying uh this year he taught him about like hitting people up and stuff like that hitting people up yeah or like linking up and that like, just checking up on people like See, you know, they're up to, up to yeah. This pussy, this pussy, okay, or Jin, this dickhead. I, every time you shoot, yeah, he says something wrong with him. I bell him, fam. Yeah, this shoot replies to me in two to three business days. Yeah, coming like UPS, ask me, yo, bro, what's up? He sometimes oh, I even forgot I called him. <laughs> you nonce, I can't. Uh, uh, that's my WhatsApp. You, thought, you think you think I'm, you think I'm calling you because I want to talk to you? I can't really say anything right now, you know. Why? Because I feel like a lot of the audience are going to get pissed off at me as well. No, what are you gonna say? Nah, as in like I feel like I'm ignoring a lot of people, like even in the audience as well. Yeah, you're you're a dickhead, fam. Even even uh, what was it was last year when you when you told me that you're going to therapy when I was hitting you up, I was getting airtime, fam. Okay. I was getting airtime, G. These times I didn't even call you, fam. Dickhead. I don't know. What, I don't know I was what to so say. Sad, yeah, that I I literally had to pull up to his crib, fam. Sometimes I just need space in it. Like I I need time to process. I hear that, but tone back, fam. Sometimes you know you just need time to process, like. You know, process of cool. All you have to do is pick up or even air the call and just text me and say, Yo, fam, I don't feel like talking right now. I do air the call and I'll, I'll be like, Yo, what do you want? No, yeah, after four days. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Yeah, L- listen, yeah, this is, this is a serious, a serious thing that needs to be said. Yeah, okay, people, get, people get annoyed, yeah, because I like r- respond to the conversation after like a couple of days or something. Yeah, but like, what is wrong with that? Yeah, would you rather I rush my re- response when I don't want to reply and then the conversation will get deaded r- there and then because I don't want to talk right now? Or listen, in three... I don't or, care. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, oh, listen, listen, no, listen, listen, yeah. No, no, stop. In stop, three stop, or four stop. days, no, stop. you, get, That's you get a proper stop. response. Stop. That's irrelevant. First of all, I don't get a pro- proper response anyway in, in four days. No, I don't. No, what I don't. Do you mean? No, I don't, fam. Yeah. You do. I don't care about all the other people. I'm calling you. For you, I'm calling you to help you. I'm not calling you to help myself. I don't like talking to you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> but I'm joking. These are sort of podcasts with you, fam. <laughs> and also yesterday, you know when you called me, was it yesterday or this morning? Yesterday, right? Ye- yesterday. No. Yeah, yesterday. Tuesday. Tuesday. No, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. You called me yesterday. Yesterday. Morning. Yesterday. Or was it morning, huh? Yeah, yeah. You called me yesterday morning. Now, Lalo, that's where the issue is. He called me no. yesterday morning. Listen, I didn't no. call yesterday morning. I did a call yesterday morning. I can pull it up right now. It was Tuesday morning. You called yesterday morning. Yeah, I got it. Yesterday Wednesday morning, morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday was Thursday. You called. Oh, shit. I'm thinking 10... today's Thursday. I'm bugging. You called at 7... 10.36. Yeah. 10.36. Why? For what reason, bro? I was asleep. And then all I heard was zzz, 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 like my phone going. Zzz, zzz, zzz. So I woke up. I thought it was my alarm. All I see is like someone's calling me in it. I'm like... That's someone calling me. It's my day off. Someone's calling me. So I just, I put my phone back down and I went back to sleep. And then I forgot that, even, well, I, I even forgot that happened until like four o'clock in the afternoon. I don't care about that. What do you mean? That's literally the I don't ex- care, explanation. That's one, that's one time, fam. You always call me in the morning. No, I don't. And Wallahi, you've never picked up any of my calls. Oh my, you said Wallahi as well. Yeah, if I, call, if, if I call you right now, yeah, your phone won't even ring. How about That's that? A lie. Why are you trying to what? shit? But I say, well, I don't call you. Say, well, I don't call you straight back. No, because my, my, my no, 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 this is, when this, it's me, this, I'm this, is, this is about this is, this is about landlord's takeaway from 2020, and you're making it about yourself, fam. I'm not making it <laughs> about myself. I'm making talking about, about some talk about some sub stories, making about oh, Kyojin don't call me back, blah blah blah, all that stuff. I'm deleting a number after this. <laughs> after this recording, <laughs> he'll, be like, he'll be like a thing, fam. I'm deleting a number. He'll, he'll be, be like a plus four four. Shut <laughs> he'll up. Maybe like a thing. You're the one that's giving up, fam. Get out of here, man. Anyway, go on. La- uh, yeah. landlord. What did, what did you mean by like? Checking up on people. Like, say, uh, pre-COVID, I was meant to link up with, I'm not going to say a name, but just some people that I've been caught up with a long time. Some people that have kids now. 
obviously because of COVID, it's like I haven't really got a reason to shout them besides seeing what they've all been saying and how they found yeah. out. Can't catch up kind of I think, yeah, going <laughs> what Lando said, I think, like, I think we all get into a point here yeah, where we low key, I just have to start checking up on man, like, man that you care about. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, one thing that I found weird though, yeah, is like there's a lot of like people on Twitter and stuff saying, oh, this year taught me a lot about like who's really there for me and stuff, yeah. But I think what some people have to realize is that you know, everyone is going through shit right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's not one person in this, in this like, dunya that's not going through shit right now, particularly mm. because of how the year has gone in it. Mm. So, like, to expect someone to always be there for you and everything. I hate that entitlement, man. It's like, do you know what I mean? It's like, have you reached out to them? Like, it's if you're so really deep. struggling, yeah? yeah. Like, honestly, you have to put that pride away and reach out to them. I know it's yeah. hard, but you can't really blame someone else for you not being able to reach out because they're also going through a tough time. Or well, sometimes people don't know that you need that communication. And you know what the bottom line is, yeah? No one needs to be there for anyone, bro. No one's going to fight about with them. At the end of the day, I can call you, yeah? You, Kyojin, yeah? And be like, yo, bro, I can give you all the support, yeah? Whatever, yeah? Uh, to help your mind or things, yeah? But at the end of the day, you're the one that's battling this COVID thing, not me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, why did why they tell about me there again? Because it's you're the first thing that you're the one you're the one that got the fucking Ebola, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think people just need to stop fucking being bitches, man. Mm. I think the other thing is like also like you know when people feel ashamed for like asking people for help and shit like that, like not not from themselves, but like other people will be like, oh yeah. I mean, I, I get you're going through that, but why? Why do you have to talk about this stuff? Like, if, if we get if we get rid of that that aspect of it, I think people will be more comfortable with just like talking about what's what's going on with them and stuff. Like that. So obviously, and it's, hard, two sides it's it. hard to talk about. It's hard to talk about what you're going through, fam. Whether yeah. no matter what it is, it's hard, fam. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So I know, see, you might feel anxious. Like, what if, like, what if, yeah. what if, man, I don't want to hear it. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but quality yeah. of a quantity, fam. You got to pick your brethren, fam. That's true. That's true. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? The lessons that we learned from 2020. What, 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 what do you think? What, what have you learned? Have you said, have you said what you learned? I said my, my one would be the same as I spoke about like a couple of weeks ago that, you know, you can plan, you can have all these ambitions and plans and everything can like, you can be like, this is how I'm going to do it. And this year I'm going to go do this thing, but life will happen anyway. And there's just going to be things that come up that you can't really control over, have control over. And I feel like, the important thing is to train yourself to be like, okay, what can I control in this situation? And what can I just let go and be like, I have no control over that. So let me not blame myself about it or let me not like feel too strong up over it because it's not in my control at all. Do you know what I mean? No, like, for, for, like for example, things like keep staying healthy, like in terms of like body weight and stuff, yeah? Like, yeah, I know people will be like, oh, you can stay healthy at home. You can have, a, you can build a home gym and stuff like that. But they'll, some things that you just won't be able to control. You won't be able to control like how much space you have in your house. You yeah. won't be able to control like what, what kind of equipment you can afford. You can't control exactly if your motivation levels aren't the same as you working at home uh, as working at a gym. It's not something really you can control. That's yeah. just something that's out of your control. So it's not, don't, don't blame yourself too much about it and think, okay, what can I control? Maybe I can go out for a run. That's something I can control. Things like that. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Where is it coming like fucking Dr. Phil fam? Where you, you, where you got a PhD in psychology, fam? I've never done psychology in my life. I saw you did, but you got a U. No, I got a U in biology. I got a U in psychology, you know. <laughs> I want to imagine I try to be a therapist, fam. I think I can be a therapist, you know. I think you can. Actually, no, I think you know, like to be a therapist, you have to have, you have to be able to like emotionally detach yourself a little bit, innit? Yeah. I feel like I'd get very emotionally attached to the person and feel really bad for them. Uh, they'll start crying and I'll start crying. Would, say you're an emotional guy. <laughs> Would I say emotional guy? Mm. Yeah, I think so. I agree. That I'm an emotional guy. Yeah. I knew you was gonna say that. What we were talking about you. Yeah, I know. That was, I, like whatever, man. It's not nothing bad. What's wrong with being do you, do you, know, you know what? Like the one thing that gets me really emotional, yeah. I don't know if do you, do you guys watch Modern Family? No. Mm. No, so in, okay, so in Modern Family, they have like a whole episode and like loads of funny things will happen, yeah. But at the end of the episode, they'll have like kind of like they'll have like a little monologue that's like kind of like the the moral of the episode, isn't it? Yeah. Like it'll be something cheesy, like oh, family should stick together, or like 
the the ones who are like really athletic uh, that are like really creative in the family belong with the people who are really like logical in the family because they have the perfect balance for each other like something really like heartwarming in it and sometimes yeah. i'll just be like shit it's so emotional fam <laughs> you know what i think it is sometimes when you're missing that from your own family dynamic <laughs> emotional when you see it on tv you know what i mean oh shit you're like must be nice <laughs> You're like damn, all these white these white families got it so good, man. Whole, whole whole thirteen seasons and the kids never get beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> so what are the things they want to take from 2020? They want to leave behind in 2020. It doesn't, you know, to be honest, yeah, it doesn't like things that you want to leave behind in 2020. They don't have to be corona related, you know. It could be, you know, one thing I want to uh, leave in 2020. You know, when people say it's the for me, yeah. Right? Bro, I hate that so much. Yeah, yeah like, it's so rinse. They'll be like, landlord, it's the it's the beard for me. That's gay. It's, it's, you know, no, but like that's, that's they, they, they say it as a cuss in it. Or they'll be like, it's the terrorist backdrop for me. It's the cave for me. No, You're joking. going a bit too mad, fam. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like the whole like it's the thing for me. It's the it's the hairline for me. Like man them, first of all, man them should never say that. I never want to hear a guy say that that like yeah. seriously and I feel like girls should leave in 2020 as well you know what to leave by in 2020 yeah night text with Gucci pouches side pouches oh, the electric I... yeah I'm done fam please and the B Air Forces fam please leave that behind bro it's a salami fam how much is one of them pouches the messenger bags yeah £30 Wembley market isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like... I like... how much is it well the legit one yeah. yeah. I don't even know. Probably like four bills. Oh, it was a four bills. Seriously? Yeah. That's, not, that's, not... that's more than I expected, you know? It was less than I expected, actually. Really? For a, for a bag, fam? I would have spent that shit on a bag. You'd spend 400 on a bag? I said I wouldn't. Depends on what, would man. Bro, my it. first car cost like 800 pounds, fam. That's cut. <laughs> it was 750. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm joking. Anyway, uh, what was... Should we leave behind in 2020? Nah, you know when people say like normalize this and normalize that, you gotta leave oh. that as well, man. Brav. Normalize yes. this. And, like, yeah. Like... You know the worst thing is yeah, like there's two ones that are so bad. The ones one one of them is like when they say normalize something and it's something that is so normal, it's just like you and your friends don't do it. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? It might it, it could be something like normalize drinking water in the morning. Like bro, yeah. what are you talking about? There is no or like it would be something kind of stupid, family. like normalize getting your eyebrows pissed like what why does it why would you want to normalize that man in there and this might be a question for another podcast yeah for an episode but do you think having only fans is liberating for women yeah i do of course you would think that but why but shall i tell you why yeah let me tell you let me tell you let me just quickly check my family doors closing up (laughs) so wait for them to leave he's waiting to check with the harry potter (laughs) <laughs> Shut up, I, I have for a bedroom. Let me tell you why I think it's liberating for them, yeah? It's because either way, man, them are going to ask for that shit anyway. And they're probably going to end up sending it anyway. And either way, like when they break up with that guy, let's say six out of ten times, that guy's going to be a waste man and share it around, isn't it? That's, that's, a high, that's a high percentage, you know? 60%. I feel like it's quite realistic, you know? There's a lot of dickheads out there. True. And so, like, if that's going to happen to her anyway, she's probably thinking to herself, let me make some money out of this. Because yeah. if you think of it, if you think about it, it's men that have made women so sexualized. It's not that like they did it to themselves. And now that and now that they're taking advantage of it, people are like, oh, how can you do that? How can you sex how can you sexualize yourself like that? They've been sexualized this whole time. Now they're just making money out of it. And like that's on them in it. They want to make money out of it, then do you know what I mean? Well that's what I think anyway. Like, anyway, we'll just no no no. I'll save it for another episode. Nah, bro, you, nah, you, you put it up, bro. Come on. No, 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 no. Because, <laughs> because it, it would like, because it would go on for a long time. You want to have a whole episode? You want to have a whole episode on OnlyFans? We could do that. Why not? I don't think I have enough to say on it. I just, I just think if someone wants to do it, have you signed up for OnlyFans? Your mum's. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But the normalized one is a good one. Still, I can't lie. Let's, let's switch it up. Things that are currently in trend that you want, you want to stay. Throughout 2021 all, all, all things That you just think You want to see in 2021 
Things that I want to see in 2021. Yeah. It can the be fuck. things that are happening already or it can be something completely new. The f- I want to see the fucking, the runway. Oh, the yeah. flight, flight runway, fam. I want to see that shit. I ain't That's seen true. that shit in so long, fam. I want to go well, back to cinemas, you know. There's no, there's no movies out anyway. I want to go to cinemas. I miss, I miss going to cinema, you know. Like, you know how, like, they're trying to make it like, oh, um, they're going to start release like HBO Max and stuff like that. They're going to release shit like yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not with that. I'm not going to lie. Like, I prefer going to the cinema watching it. It's a, it's a different experience, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? And I feel like it's a whole like industry or business that I wouldn't want to see go out of, in, out of business. Cinema's a low bullet. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. This weird, man. <laughs> there's nothing. There's, what is trending in 2020? Like, what trend in 2020, fam? What I would want to see go into 2021, even after the pandemic and stuff, is like the awareness people have of hygiene and stuff like that. Yeah, like a couple of years, man, you start wiping their asses, man. Yeah. But also, you see Mars, yeah? You know, I'm cool with wearing masks, you know? I feel like masks look sick. I hope yeah, it becomes like a, fashion, fa- like a fashion trend and it becomes something that like you have to wear kind of thing. Yeah, because then your ears will actually be like this, fam. <laughs> that, that's the only disadvantage of wearing a mask for me, though. Otherwise, I wear it all the time, you know? Because yeah. it is. And even when I'm outdoors and it's cold, I'll, I'll wear the mask on because it kind of warms my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one can identify me. You can just I'm going to start wearing a snoot. Like yeah, like I, I kind of like the look, you know? Yeah, you just do it like that. There's people that wear the, you know, the surgeon mask in public. I got yeah, that's jaw. I hate the surgeon. I hate the, I hate the surgical mask. Just get a plain black one, man. That's the, that's the way forward. There's a website called like Red Bubble in it, and you can get loads of different designs and shit on it. Can you design your own? I don't know if you can design. If you if you become an artist on there, you can and you can sell it off and shit. I have to bust a Titan mask, you know. I lie. I'm gonna have to make a yeah a Titan talk mask, you know. I'm gonna have to make a Titan talk only fans. <laughs> Come on. This is, this is this is coming from two of the guys who have like no face on social media. They're gonna jump straight over showing their face on social media to make your only fans, you know. Trust me. What do you mean two? I don't show my face either. That's what I'm saying. You two people. Oh, I've said you as well. Oh yeah, no, you I, too. I right? show my face on social media. Yeah, you do, you bad bitch. No man. No. That's I think that's another thing that I wanna see left. I wanna see Instagram meme pages left in twenty twenty. Yeah, he had a bad experience with him this year, I like. No, I want to see TikTok he... left in 2021. Hey, 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 take it easy. TikTok is, is a mar- marketing dream. But you, you see, see like, you see like on Inst- Instagram, yeah, there's one like, I'll we'll probably like edit out the name in it because I don't want no issues with like Instagram because they, they got mad in it. <laughs> and then like recently, What's I, that follow- <laughs> yeah, I, think I, I follow, I follow, I follow them just to see like what's funny and stuff in it. But sometimes they'll, they'll post like something that's like an innocent video, yeah. And like they'll they'll put like, such a judgy caption in it. Like for example, I saw one where it was like this 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 bride dancing at her wedding in it, and I was like, "Raw, this kind of peak." Like this is why people should not be allowed to record at other people's weddings because the bride is obviously having fun in her like a private setting. Do you know what I mean? Like it's only family there; they're all dancing and stuff. Yeah, and someone's gone and shared that to her Instagram meme page. Do you know what I mean? And that, now, that person's these, a pagan. And then all these people in the comments saying like, "Oh." She, I, uh, I bet she's not even a proper Muslim and stuff like that. Um, her, hus- her husband probably hasn't probably hasn't even seen her without makeup and all this stuff. I'm like, bro, what the hell? What the fuck? Why are people at our age moving like aunties, fam? I can't lie. A lot of Asian people that's our age are bare toxic, fam. It's because obviously they're like they they have really strict parents and they can't bear to see anyone else not have. I lie. Or or yeah, so they have to say they're going library libraries to go like fucking. I must say or some shit. Obviously, it's, it's it's tough for them, yeah. But like, why you gotta bring everyone else down, isn't it? Yeah, man. Some some you know some of us are allowed out. And like, some of us are living in underneath the the stairwell the staircase. Shut up. Shut up, man. <laughs> what about this room makes you think I'm living underneath the staircase? Is that the tardis isn't it? It's small and ours, but when you go inside, it's big, isn't it? No, it's, it's big on the outside. It's more big on the inside. I'm as well. joking. That that joke only came about because it sounds like you're in a cave when you when you call. Do you know what it is, yeah? Back in, like, sixth form and stuff, like, uh, sometimes when you guys were cool, I would already be in bed in it. And my room is close to, like, my parents' room and my sister's room and stuff in it. So if I'm speaking like this normally, then they, nice. it's going to be in the middle of the night, they're all going to wake up in it. So I would just say, I will keep myself on mute and you lot talking. It. Lies. <laughs> I'm not lying, fam. I know you're standing upright in a cupboard, <laughs> fam. 
That's how you sleep. Up right the I'm joking. But yeah, my yeah, fuck yeah. right depression shit this year, man. I just hope everyone learns a lot from this year. What would you say your, your best moment of the year was? If there is one. There's probably getting my fish and starting and kill, the pod to be honest. And then killing them all off. They kill themselves, right? They, they're they weak themselves, off, I can't I can't help it. Man. Did they actually all kill themselves? Yeah. How? So one you already told us one jumped out of the, out of the fishbowl. Yeah, bowl. one like... Yeah, but you know when he jumped out of the fishbowl, couldn't you just put it back in? I tried to, but I was pleading. I know no one was in the living room, innit? You were pleading? Yeah. Like you were begging him to stay alive? Oh. I was pleading. Oh. Anyway, man, I don't want to talk about that, man. It's upsetting. <laughs> and uh, probably starting the podcast. Oh, that was one of the highlights of 2020, yeah? Yeah, well, not, nothing else happened. Mm. What about you? For me, personally, like highlights of 2020 would be... Uh, Dave Chappelle's up there. We went, me, you went to see Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah, I forgot. We to see That's Dave crazy Chappelle. though, because well, doesn't that feel like it was three years ago, fam? Fam, I thought that was like, at least two years ago, fam. Yeah, it was literally at the beginning of this year we saw Dave no, Chappelle. No, Dave like, Chappelle. Yeah, I forgot. Dave Chappelle's definitely up there as well. Cipher sounds, all that stuff. That was, that was good. We saw the episode about that too. That was, that was saying. That was cool. I think at the beginning of the year, I was so excited for this year. Like I had had so many shows booked for this year, you know. So many shows. What are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean? Uh, so we went to Dave Chappelle. You went Dave Chappelle. Then I had like um, wireless. I was meant to go two days of wireless. Like you guys, did you guys book one day or two days? I don't know what it took, but we didn't book nothing. Shut up, man. Yeah, you did. Uh, that's just you, man. You're going wireless with, I don't know who you're going with. I was going with you, man. So wireless. <laughs> <laughs> no, two days, two days. We booked two days. Yeah man, I can't believe you guys. You guys were looking forward to me. No, yeah, I was thinking that nah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna make it. And yeah, well, then, nothing happened no, anyway. None of us made it. Oh. Exactly. I can't believe they, they were like, they were like, oh, we will hold on to your money and you can come back next year. Like, no, give us no, some money. Back. Man, if, man. if 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 it's on next year, then maybe I'll come. If the lineup is good, we ain't holding my money from. I lie. That's crazy. It was that one fifth as well, isn't it? Yeah, meant to see the weekend. We still, we still got tickets to Mo Gill- Mo, Mo, Mo Gill- uh, I can't even say the name. Mo Gilligan. Is it? Well, did you get tickets? Me and you, bro. Did you get them? Yeah. How much was it? I don't remember giving him peas for that. Forty pound. Did I send you the money? I think so. I'm pretty sure you did. Oh. <laughs> I might be getting a free show out of this. <laughs> it's probably going to happen next year or something. So Mo Gilligan, uh, The Weekend. Uh, me and Lasko book tickets to see like the orchestra in it, bro. Sometimes you have to branch out in it, try some, try something a little bougie. Bro, it's cool, eccentric. fam. I, I, gee, I went to go see Lion King in theatre, fam. Bro, I, good... I saw no, I saw no one but white people there. But it was one of the certainest experiences of my life, fam. I went to see. Do you know what, uh, the first time I went to theatre, I went to watch Aladdin in it. But one time yeah. I went to watch f- to the theatre. Guess what I went to watch? Uh, well, like Hamlet or something. Mamma Mia. And that's the first time I've ever seen I've never seen the movie I've never seen any of it I just watched Mamma Mia watched Did you like it? Watch. It, was, it was lit It was good It was a good experience yeah. But do you know what the crazy lit, thing, Do you know the crazy thing Is that night yeah So I was with you guys The night before oh, Both of you as well actually um, MH was there Lasko was there Deeps was there as well yeah Actually I don't know I don't know if Landlord was there But it was time ago I think Landlord was there actually We went to like this Turkey, Turkish place Or Afghan place Like in South Hall or something And then Yeah and then we went out, and then like at that dinner while we were there, that's when I like asked the girls, "You want to go?" And then we, I booked the tickets and stuff. Yeah. So then that night, I remember the date as well because it was when um, Game of Thrones came back. It was like 2017 or something, or 2016 July, and 2017, 2017 July. And then that night we went to like the park and it. We were just like I don't know what we were doing. Then we went to like cream stuff. Then I got home. And then, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I was about? I got home, yeah, and then I was yeah. excited, didn't it? Because Game of Thrones is coming out. I'm gonna go to the theater afterwards with a, with a lady in it, and then like, I'm excited, didn't it? I'm a yeah. kind of young guy, and I'm kind of excited and stuff. Then I like go upstairs to close my window, and then I jump off the bed, and I landed like on the top of my foot. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> and all I hear is, <laughs> and I just like, I just land like this. Uh, Mom was like, "It's at one a.m. in the morning." Mom was like, "Are you all right?" I was about to say my comment. He's like, "Are you all right?" I was like, I think I broke my foot. <laughs> and then she's like, <laughs> she take it off. So I was like, nice, calm in it. So I like limp downstairs. I put like a pack of peas in it, fro- frozen peas. I'm like, I want to watch Game of Thrones in it. So I watch Game of Thrones. Watch, watch the season premiere of Game of Thrones, yeah. Then I get up, I'm like, bro, it's bare painful. Like it hurts a lot. 
Yeah. Mm. So then I, 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 I call my sister. I'm like, can you take me to hospital? I think something's wrong with my foot. Maybe I sprained my ankle. Or <laughs> my dad gets angry. He's like, it's four o'clock in the morning, blah, blah, blah. So he takes me to the hospital, yeah? I get to the hospital. Then they're like, they do a checkup on me and they say, okay, can you go to the, wait for the, wait to get called in the x-ray in it. So I'm just limping around the hospital. I go to the x-ray, get the x-ray done, yeah? And she's like, okay, after I come off the x-ray, the x-ray lady's like, oh, where's your um, wheelchair? We're going to put you in the wheelchair. I was like, what? Like, what do you mean wheelchair? She's like, you know, you've broken your foot, right? And I was like, what? Wait, 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 wait. hold on. You watched the season premiere of Game of Thrones with a broken foot. It gets, it, it gets worse than that, yeah. So then, like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't have a wheelchair. She's like, I guess you're going to have to hop back, hop back to the waiting area. Innit? So I'm just there hopping back here. And like, once you know that it's a broken foot yet, yeah, it starts to hurt more. She's like, don't put any pressure on it. Because yeah. like, before that, I was just walking through the pain in it. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, we're going to put a cast on it. And the lady was like, we're quite understaffed in it. So you're going to have to help me put the cast because it's a two-man job, but I'm the only one here. So I was like, right, fuck it. And I guess we're going to have to do this as yeah. a team in it. So I'm there like <laughs> putting on my own cast and everything, put the paper mache on and stuff. Yeah. It didn't come on the right the first time. So we had to take it off and do it again the second time. And then when they come to pick me up and stuff, yeah. And I was like, I was like the, before that, I'm like to the nurse, yeah, I'm like, I gotta go to the theater today. Like, do you think I can go? And she's like, Look at your foot. Do you think you can go? And I was like, Yeah. She's like, You're funny. You're funny. But no, like, stay at home in it. You're an I, get idiot. Home, I get home like 7 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. I'm thinking, Okay, like, I probably shouldn't go to the theater tonight. I was like, You know what? I paid like 60 pounds for each ticket. I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing is, it's like a, um, I had a cast done in it and the open toe cast so like my toes are coming out at the end of it <laughs> so I'm like to my dad what do I do I don't want to go like I have to go on the train with my, my toes like just sticking out in it so I just like rolled up a sock and put the sock on top of it oh my <laughs> god I'm thinking yeah this is calm you know what I'm going to make it it's going to be fine so my dad drops me off to the station uh, I, I meet my friend we get on the train and everything yeah we get off like central near the, near where the um, thing is, yeah. So we're just was it left sweat? So, uh, something like I can't even remember to be honest. Um, but we're walking, we're walking, yeah. And then, like, I think we must have gone like literally five minutes, yeah. And I was sweating like a pig. I what, was like, on crutches, yeah. On I was crutches? on crutches, on crutches, yeah. Because yeah. I was thinking yeah. crutches, it'll be easy, in it. Like, cr- no. they hold you up. <laughs> I'm like, fam, I didn't realize nah. this was like doing dips all the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so hard. Like it hurt. It didn't I hurt. Know how it feels when you put me on crutches twice. Shut up, man. No, I never. Yeah, well, like you did. How about that? So I'm just I'm just there like walking. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm sweating at this point. And like bear in mind, I'm trying to impress someone at the moment, isn't it? I'm sweating. With a broken foot. Yeah, then we my go son. past we go start past Sainsbury's and she's like, I think you should, you know, I think you should get like some painkillers. I'm like, cool. We'll get in there, get, get some painkillers, yeah. And I'm just walking, I'm walking. And every two seconds I'll be like, Okay, okay, I think I can do it. And then I think, like, towards the end, I got, I just got tired and I just started walking on my foot, even though it hurt. Like, I was like, bro, I can't take the pit, I can't take this. Like, I'm so tired. And then, yeah, we got there and they were like, is there like a disabled access? And then, like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know, it was, it was a workout, man. I was sweating like crazy that day. Was that your first time ever being a crutches? Yeah, uh, no, actually, I, I was in crutches in sixth form, but I was on one crutch though, so, and I fractured. Oh, yeah, crutch. yeah, but yeah, man, all of that just to get some nuns, man. No, 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 it wasn't, it was nothing like that. <laughs> it was nothing like that. It was a good experience, though. It was like the fear you was still good. talk to the thing? That's my friend, yeah. So, you tried to impress your friend, yeah, with a broken foot. Yeah. This story is shambolic from top to end, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always you, fam, with these stories, bro? I don't know. Just, I think Laska's got funnier stories than me, to be honest. You just, just, you got funnier stories. You both got funnier stories than me as well. Both of you two, you just obviously some of it is like the legality of some of the things you say. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I ain't really trying to. Uh... My stories are all legal. They're just not legal in the eyes in the court of my parents, isn't it? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't really trying to spend, send us to pen, fam. Exactly. Maybe one day, like I, I'll just say it as like a. Like a fan fiction story, you get me? Do you, you know, sometimes, yeah, I'll, I'll be watching people's podcasts, yeah, and I'm thinking, like, raw, you know, if your parents heard that, like, how do you, because I, I still have that mindset of, like, my parents can't hear certain things in it. So, like, does, wait, does it, do your parents listen to your podcast? No, no, but they could, you know, you never know, it might. Um, but there's one, the, the, yeah, there's one podcast that cracks me up every time. 
Yo, Lalo, do you know that guy, Bobby Lee, that, that Chinese guy, Korean guy? <laughs> He's like, when I was nine, I got molested by a guy with Down syndrome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, was he with Brendan yeah, Shaw, that one? He said he got molested by someone with a uh, child. Down syndrome. And, and, then he's, and the guy started laughing, and he's like, why are you laughing for? Yeah. Yeah. And and I guess... <laughs> you repeat it. He's like, uh, if, you, if you laugh when I say it again, I'm going to leave. I'm going to cut in it. Yeah, and he lost again, didn't it? Because he put it. Was that the fight in the kid? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that guy the... that used to be a movie for him. UFC for him. It was shit, though, wasn't it? Brendan Schwab. Yeah, yeah. Got, like I said, got broody. Do you know the funniest part is, yeah, when he was, when the guy was saying, like, the, the guy pulled out his dick here, and then Brendan Schwab goes, did, did, did the dick look down? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's funny. So sometimes I think like to myself, like how can you tell stories like that's crazy, isn't it? But obviously, I feel like I feel like Americans got no filter sometimes. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, feel like I don't. Even, we went like a crazy tangent there, but how do we go from what was it twenty twenty one goals to someone getting molested, fam? Uh, I don't know, but yeah. What What are we hoping for in twenty twenty one? Hopefully, no more accidents by Kyojin. Oh yeah, no more broken broken bones. No more coronavirus. Yeah. Hopefully no this, more. this coronavirus in my body goes before 2021. You got six days, so go flush that bitch out. Yeah, apparently uh, vitamin C is the, the motive. What was the question? What you what you what are you trying to see in 2021? It could be like plans, no, it could be aspirations. Uh just got a few things planned still, but I wanna expand on the pod. This is the pod. Yeah, expand as in like no, oh. not expand on the pod as in like made the pod bigger. Wait, hold on. <coughs> Excuse go, me. Go go wash your hands, man. I'm at my house, man. Yeah, that's where you have to be worried about. Yeah, go. What's you? What's you lot? Uh, obviously my Mali. Uh, yeah. fans back at stadiums and shit. I've not been enjoying football recently. I can't lie. It's so boring to watch, man. Like, yeah, I know Arsenal shit anyway, but I feel like I'm. Um, on my phone half the game just because it's not interesting. Mm. Don't feel the vibe. Um, yeah, obviously UFC has been the same in twenty twenty. Oh, that's a positive by the way of twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah, UFC fam. I swear I've enjoyed it way more than I thought I would have. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, I slightly enjoy UFC without the fans. Yeah, I feel like I concentrate way more. You know, the fans like, and and you hear all the fans. It was oh, bro. It can be annoying, like you you know when they start booing when there's not enough action or something, or like when yeah, they get moved on the ground and then they start booing and shit. Yeah, like it helped, like Gaethje and that. It helped what Gaethje? Yeah, yeah, like it gets, yeah. You know how the fact that he gets they, they can they can get the better of him when he starts. Yeah, the fact that he's still double head, but you know, in twenty twenty one, obviously McGregor's back. McGregor's back, man. Early twenty twenty one as well, man. Yeah, it's only a few weeks ago, I think. Like, few weeks ago, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's nuts. Uh, I don't even know. It was, I was looking like that. You know, Rasta jellyfish from yeah, from Shark Tale, like Shark Tale. Yeah, that's what it looked like. What the yeah. fuck is that? To be honest, kind of like the same. And obviously, first of all, normality, like being able to see my friends, not having to worry about going out. Because that's friends. What, like, yeah, come on, man. I got, got bare friends. Friends? Yeah, I ain't going. I ain't going to be like one of those people that are. Oh yeah, I have no friends. Having friends is yeah. moist. I ain't trying to be uh-huh. like those people. I got friends. And I like. Uh, I'm cool. And, but yeah, um, to see my friends on a regular basis would be would be sick. I think all the shows that we missed this year, like I'm looking forward to them like backlogging in it. Like you know, you know yeah. the ones where like you you lost you you forget about a bit of money that you had in your jeans or something, or like in your jacket, and then you put that jacket on for after a while, yeah. yeah. And you're like, rather some money in it. So I feel like that's what it's gonna feel like when I when I'm when I get that email like, oh, the weekend. Is back on for next month. Come yeah. through. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I, I bought it. I deserve it. I earned it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to that. And then yeah, just pretty much be being able to go back out, make some money as well, man. Like I feel like obviously the kind of sh- job that I work in, yeah. When it comes to like being in lockdown and working online, there's not the same amount of money to be made from working in on site. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You've been there, my bits now, haven't it? Yeah, but the thing is like. The hours are <laughs> the hours are more limited now, isn't it? Because it's just, there's just not enough hours in the day. Whereas, like before, you could go, you could go into work and like not even be busy, but you still get paid for the time that you're there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas now you only at home, you only get paid for the exact times that you're doing something. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can we do a Titan thing? Holiday? And holiday. What do you mean? Next year? Yeah, please. i just been talking about how like how it's harder to make money now. You're talking about, can we do a Titan holiday? No, well, you're going to make... I, I'm not saying, like, let's go fucking, I don't know, like America or something. Why not America? Do something because it's expensive. I really want to go Bangladesh next, you know. Can we go? Can we go? I was thinking about yesterday, yeah. I don't know if I don't know if it, I don't know if it would be safe for you to come with just me. I wouldn't I wouldn't go just by myself. Either. Um, you need someone, like my family and stuff. Because yeah. the thing is, you see, like where I live in Bangladesh, yeah, it's not like it's not like it's a tourist destination. Do you know what I mean? It's not <laughs> like if, does Bangladesh even have any tourist destinations? Yeah, like this, the St Martin's Bazaar, like Cox Bazaar. No, I'm joking. Stuff, I'm joking. I'm joking, like, man. But you I'm see those joking. places, yeah, you could just you go up to the locals and ask around stuff in it. Like I could go up to the locals and ask around because they would know who I am. I would still need my dad to like introduce me to them and stuff, in it. I know you dad. Your dad could come holiday with man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he would have to be there. Yeah. And then probably like my, co- my cousins that grew up there as well. I think it would be good for them to go back because they would be, like they that's their bits. They know what they're doing, innit? Yeah. But it's lit though. You should, I mean, you should come one day. I would. Next next time I go, just come through, innit? Yeah, I will, fam. I'll be a plus one. It's calm. It's calm. I'm we okay. can go Turkey. Turkey's not that expensive. I swear, like. The UK is getting blocked off every every country. Actually, that's true. That's true. Still, I feel like fifty countries now. Bro. How many countries is it now that have blocked the UK from going? Fifty. Fifty. <laughs> is it fifty? Yeah, it was forty before, but it's fifty now. I think. I thought it was at seventy. Could be. Yeah, it could UK. be. Citizens, let's see. Well, more than forty countries. God damn, it's crazy. It's crazy how like we wanted to close our borders to everyone. And everyone is closing our borders to us. Cl- closing their borders to us. It's mental, bro. This, this world is fucked, man. I don't know what is happening to the world. It's crazy. And I, I saw, like, this other tweet, yeah. It was like, oh, it's crazy how obsessed with border control this country is, yeah. But it didn't want to ha- have stricter border control when people were getting the virus and coming into the country. And I like, like that. Real, real talk. You know, nobody got tested or anything. They could just go straight through. Bro, even the other day, yeah. Uh, when lockdown got announced, no one was getting tested at Heathrow or uh, St Pancras. Yeah, how crazy that is to me, you know. That's not even, fucked. Not even simple temperature checks. Even I lie. even like I don't know, fucking your your dentist. Bro, I, I got temperature, temperature check. Checks. I got temperature check when I went to Goals from the other day, of a week. See if if Goals can pull it off, yeah. You tell me, big Heathrow can't pull that off. You know what I'm saying? Simple temperature check. It's jarring, man. If only they like. I think even if they blocked like. Flights to Wuhan that would have been great as well. Like, what we we calling this a Chinese virus? No, I'm not. But obviously, no, at, a cer- at a certain point, it was coming from a certain place, in it. Even even for example, like in the beginning of like just before lockdown, yeah, when Italy had it bad, yeah, why did they just not close the borders to Italy and be like, yo, yeah. you, unless you're a citizen, if you're a citizen, you have to come back and quarantine in a government facility for a couple of weeks, and then you can go home to your family. If you're not a citizen and you're coming from Italy, like not right now. Like fuck off. We ain't, we ain't trying to yeah. deal with that right now. Yeah. Clearly, fuck. they didn't want to do that. They were more interested in I don't know money or or international export or I don't know some shit. And now you know here we are still like nine months later. Nine months later, for a whole year written off. And, and, and it's not it's not even, it's not even yeah. looking good. Like it's not like it's it's looking any better, fam. It's still it's the looking same. like a whole lot more people are gonna get infected now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm already I'm already part of that. You pale bitch. Yeah, I'm looking hella pale, man. No, man. It's jarring. I hate it. It's right, I, need to go somewhere like, I need to go somewhere like Brazil, fam. I need to start looking brown again, man. No lie. To be honest, you're never really brown. Yes, I am, man. What are you talking about? No, you weren't. You're like... You are such a waste of well, the same colour. <laughs> Idiot. I'm Jake. I just want to piss you off. Yeah, I know you do. But yeah, man. Hopefully 2021 is a better year. Hopefully we're leaving COVID-19, 20, all the variations behind. Is nice. is is Lando putting on this KKK? Yeah. <laughs> because he went from Javadi to <laughs> well, from one one extreme to the other, like yeah, come on. <laughs> can't discriminate the other. Right? <laughs> <laughs> James can be mad. It's gonna be like people are gonna screen record just that, just that clip of like and be Lando like, oh yeah, that. remember when these guys <laughs> done this back in twenty twenty? Nah, but nah, fuck yeah. them, man. Anyway. But yeah, hope 2021, man. Hopefully, more health. Yeah. In terms, of, in terms of the pod, like I feel like we're always we're always coming up against obstacles, but you know it is what it is. For like, listen, you know. tough people last time, not tough times. 
<laughs> cool. And I, I think that. Yeah, fam, that meme is the best meme, you know, fam. What meme? Fam, there's this Africa done, yeah, and he's like, in his Africa accent, that like, tough people are not tough people, yeah. Then he's gonna go like this. <laughs> Is it like is it that guy like they sometimes they Photoshop Messi's face on top of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's next to the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see that one. I see that one. But yeah, I think this this format that temporary format that we have right now will be a good opportunity for some of you guys to maybe feature on the pod. But for those of you listening at home, it would be a good opportunity to actually get onto the pod if you would like to. So obviously DM us on Instagram. Um, at the, the Titan, Titan Talk, talk. Yeah, Titan the Titan, talk. yeah uh, get at us at, at the Titan Talk Insta. and yeah and if there's if there's any topics that you want covered next week or you, in the following weeks um, anything more that you want to see uh, or if there's a specific topic that you want to come up and come onto the show and speak about let us know um, because we can do that so yeah anything you want man Titan Talk ain't going nowhere yeah we're here to stay for no matter what comes Oh, wait, we're going to think of something new. We're going to do this thing, man. Come on, man. And you know this. we Christmas. Oh, man. you know what? I, I lie. That is sick. And we're just bullshitting. We was just bullshitting. In. And you and know you this. know this, man. man. But yeah, man, no, we're, going to make, we're going to make it work. Do you know what I'm saying? E- episodes won't stop. I think, you, I think it only stopped. Like, we only missed one episode. One week, could I? Yep. Two weeks? One week. One week. And obviously, that's because of lockdown. Mm. We got hit with them tears Literally day before recording Or the day of recording It's time to wipe away the tears Because Titan Talk is here Merry Christmas you filthy animals I lie And have a happy new year Goodbye Goodbye